Hello folks, my name is Jenner from Golden State Times. Welcome back to the newsroom. And today I have a breaking news story. This one has to do with John Durham and it comes courtesy of the Washington Examiner. And it says, John Durham is issuing subpoenas and interviewing witnesses according to a new report. You heard it right folks, let's get right into it. And it says, John Durham's inquiry into the origins and conduct of the Trump-Russia investigation is chugging along during the Biden administration. With the special counsel arranging witnesses' interviews and issuing subpoenas in recent months, according to a new report. It says that Joe Biden asked all Senate-confirmed U.S. attorneys for their resignation in early February, with Durham being asked to step down as U.S. attorney for Connecticut but to stay on as special counsel. Durham resigned from his federal prosecutor post in late February, but continues his investigation of the investigators. A report by Fake News CNN published on Tuesday cited unnamed sources who said that after delays last year, pinned on by the coronavirus pandemic, Durham's investigators are, quote, now arranging witness interviews. Also, grand jury subpoenas, which are being used to gather documents in recent months. End of quote. During his confirmation hearing in February, now Attorney General Merrick Garland declined to promise the Senate Judiciary Committee directly that he would protect Durham's investigation, nor he did not say anything if he would make the report public though he said that he didn't currently have any reason to think it wasn't the right move to keep the prosecutor from continuing his work. So, what do you guys think about this? Will this report ever be made public? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, if it is made public, will it be redacted or unredacted? Because if it's so redacted that it becomes useless, what's the point? Will the Biden administration ever allow for this report to be unredacted? A lot of people are afraid that what the Biden administration is doing is that they want the funding for this report to run out. They're not going to give Durham any more funding. So if Durham runs out of money, he'll have no choice but to shut it down. He will have to come out and say, hey guys, we ran out of funding. We cannot continue and I cannot release it because we did not finish due to funding. Let us know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. The report says that the new report said, quote, it's still not clear whether Durham is pursuing additional possible criminal matters beyond the guilty plea from ex-FBI lawyer Kevin Clydesmith, who admitted to editing a CIA email in 2017 to state that in 2016, Page was not a source for the CIA when it told the Bear U on multiple occasions that Page, or Carter Page, had been in operational contact for the agency. Clydesmith was sentenced to just probation. So the DOJ is uh, citing this as a criminal probe. That is what they're saying. But will anything come from this? Durham can interview thousands of people, can uh, issue thousands of subpoenas, but if nothing comes from it, what is the point? Will anything come out of this? Let us know in the comment section below. I don't know if you guys remember, but I think it was uh, now a week ago, former President Donald J. Trump came out with a press release from the office of Donald J. Trump, statement by Donald J. Trump, 45th President of the United States of America, where he asked, the three, he asked three questions. The first one is, where's Durham? The second one, is he a living, breathing human being? And the third one, will there ever be a Durham report? So this comes courtesy of the Daily Mail. And it says, 
Donald Trump has issued a formal statement asking whether special counsel John Durham is still living and demanding on to know whether he will issue his report on the origins of the FBI's Russia collusion investigation. He asked the questions, where's Durham? Is he still living? Is he a breathing human being? And will there be a report? Very good questions. Durham's investigation, which the Justice Department has described as a criminal probe, is focused on the activities within the FBI's Crossfire Hurricane investigation, as the Trump-Russia inquiry was codenamed by them. Crossfire Hurricane, that is what they're investigating, and it's a criminal probe according to the DOJ, but once again, will anything, if anything, come from this? Let us know in the comments section below. If you guys like this report, make sure you slap a like on it and also make sure that if you are new to the channel, you subscribe and you click that bell. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, you like us on Facebook, and you let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. We want to know your, your thoughts, your opinions, your comments, your suggestions, everything. Sound off in the comments. Make sure you share this video on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, Gab, Reddit, Parler, whatever social media you have. Get it out there and let people know that Durham is still going on. That Durham is not MIA. That he's still working on this investigation of the investigators. And let us know if you guys think if anything is going to come from it. Also, make sure you go to our website, goldenstatetimes.com, for more information on Durham, politics, Trump, and everything else in between. Breaking news, scoops everything on our website goldenstatetimes.com and make sure you guys bookmark it and we hope to see you guys here uh, we hope to see you guys here very soon my name is jen goldstein and i'll see you next time peace